we have been looking at UE as the velocity just outside the boundary layer, right? But now we want to zoom out. We want to zoom out into the entire flow field and look at how can I couple the boundary layer solution with the outside solution outside the boundary layer. So we want to provide a little bit generalization to the edge velocity of the boundary layer we are considering. So I'm going to draw an exaggerated boundary layer. OK, so this is an airfoil. The boundary layer here is, let's say, like that. So we have been considering the velocity at the outside of the boundary layer as UE. And uh, basically, outside the boundary layer, the flow can be considered as in viscous, right? The flow is going to be like that. If I draw a vector field, this is the flow outside this boundary layer. It can be considered as, as in viscous. What I want to do is I want to derive a generalized sense of this edge velocity. I call inviscid equivalent flow. So this is a flow field that, first of all, agrees with the true velocity field outside the boundary layer. right? And because outside the boundary layer, the true flow field has almost zero viscous effect, we can consider both the true flow field and the inviscous equivalent flow to satisfy the inviscid flow equations, the Euler equations. So we are considering, we call ui. It is equal to u outside the boundary layer. And in this case, the wake. OK, inside the wake, you may also have viscous effect because the velocity profile is like that. OK, but this ui also exists inside the boundary layer. OK, so what, this, what determines this ui inside the boundary layer? The governing equation. So ui satisfies the inviscid flow equations everywhere, including inside the boundary layer. So what do you think ui is going to be inside the boundary layer? So let's, for example, use green to denote the ui. We know ui is exactly the same as this red velocity outside the boundary layer, right? So these are the same. But inside the boundary layer, can somebody come up and draw what ui, what you think ui should be inside the boundary layer? Uh, 